Hello, here we are once again. Today's lesson is going to be all about tutu, tu, tu, skirts. <laughs> so, my granddaughter has requested, after seeing me making a box pleat skirt on YouTube, because those children are into YouTube these days, as seeing that skirt on YouTube, she said, Granny, can I have one? But she wanted her own version, which was a tutu skirt or our off skirt. So, today's lesson is all about that. Now, they told me the colour what they wanted and they've given me the size, so I'm going to do it. But, the difference with this uh, tutu skirt is going to be a more like an adult one, not a, a child's one where they it's all sticking up nice and strong or it's all made up in little pieces. This one's going to be made up in sections and I'm going to do two rows. Rara, which is um, first the longest point going all the way down and then I'm, I'm going to put one starting somewhere down and what I've done is to not waste fabric I've cut the, the, the first top length at um, 47 centimeters and so I made sure I got that and the leftover is half of what's left over so where that ends up to meet the end of the skirt that's where I'm going to put it now my worry is that it's grey that I'm using and the rara might show that it's been stepped down so depending on how it shows is how I'm going to put it in if it shows too much then I'm going to have to put it, the whole thing in at the top and leave it at that but I'm going to first and then I'm going to have a contrast fabric which is the white that goes on top and that should hide everything so let's going to see how that now because it's a child I don't have a, a mannequin for a child so um, I'm going to have to do it in section on my um, mannequin but because her waist is 22 I might get away with it I don't know if my mannequin goes down to 22 but let me see what happens but what I'm going to do is, when I'm going to stitch it up, so I've cut it out already, so I didn't think you need to see me cutting it out. So you can just do the measurement, or I say, or the measurement of your child, or yourself, depending on uh, what you are, and work it out that way. So, what I've done now, the skirt, the box skirt that I made, it was, um, I think it was three and a half times the size of my waist. Now, the, my, my granddaughter is 22, so what I've done is divide, uh, times it by three and a half times to see how long the strip that I want. Now, it turned out to be around 77 inches, so I've got each piece at 66 inches, so that's far more than enough. If not, you can add on, it depends on how much you want it to be sticking up. Um, they've already told me they don't want it sticking up much, so it's going to be down a bit. So we'll do that, and this is for a winning. So I'm going to get on with it now, and I'll show you. First of all, I'm going to gather up the first bit, which is the net. Now, you could use a gathering foot and hope that it doesn't rip this fabric because it's so delicate. Or you can use two stitches, the longest stitches, uh, and then pull the strings in but once you pull them in if you do two stitches you've got those stitches to pull out but if you do one stitch then you can hide it with the stitch that you do on top of it when you put the the uh, main fabric to the lining now the lining when I stitch it up I'm not going to stitch it up in a circle and then fight to get the um, the net on equally I'm going to leave it flat out put a marking on it where I'm supposed to, stitch the um, net on it, and let it come back on itself. That's what I'm going to do. Or leave the fabric doubled up so it's folded, gather it up and then fold it so it sticks out a bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. So here begin F. That is the main fabric which is on top of the netting. This is the netting. Here we have two sections. This net here is cut at 47 centimeters. And I didn't even measure this bit here because it's the leftovers. But this bit here is folded. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that later. 
this here, this section here is the body of the skirt. So this is inside, which is almost a soft lining. It's very soft, so it's not itchy. So because we don't want this on directly on the skin. Here we have the waistband and the elastic. The elastic, I thought I'll do it a nice thick one because over there I've cut a belt to go around the waistband, which is one of the designs that my daughter-in-law showed me. So here I've already prepared it and we've got the skirt all cut out. Now, my daughter-in-law, uh, my granddaughter, her waist is the measurements are as my daughter sent it to me. So the length of the skirt is 43 centimeters and the waist is 56 centimeters and the height. So that's what I'm gonna focus on and that section there, which turns out, because I like to do things in inches, which turns out to be 22 inch waist. So the elastic will be cut smaller. So that's what I've done so far. So this section here is doubled up, so it's folded. So I want to gather it and then it becomes two on top of each other. That's the plan. So let me put that aside first. Now this one here, there's two section here, which I think is too much actually. It's far too much. So I'm gonna gather one up first, separate it, gather it up, put it around the mannequin and see, and see um, how transparent it is. Here I'm gathering this up. So I'm pleating it as I go along. Because for this machine, I cannot find a gathering foot, which will just gather it all up together. So I've got to be patient and pleat it all under. So I've gathered this bit up. It's all gathered up. And this is to go around the skirt like that. So I've got to test this out. Which I did it the wrong way around, but let's use the back. So this section is going up here. Now you can see how transparent that is. That's far too transparent for the next layer underneath. This white section now I have to gather it in the same way. So if by the time I gather this up and put it on top, then hopefully the one underneath won't show. So that's what I'm gonna check it out first. So let me gather this one up now, which this one is in two pieces. So I've got to join it. And I did it in two pieces because I wanted the grain of the fabric going down where I could have done the grain of the fabric going a cross way and then I would have got it in one but I didn't I wanted to see the beauty of the fabric going down so I'm gonna have to join it <laughs> So if you can manage to get your stitching as loose as possible, the back cotton, the back one, which is the bobby, you can pull it and get
gather it up even further. Now this is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the next layer that's going to be underneath here, which is going to show that there is a layer there. Or I could just leave it at that, or try and put one just, just underneath it, or just leave it at two long ones. I think I'm going to have to leave it at two long ones. So put another one underneath it. right at the top and that's what I'm going to do so I'm not going to half this anymore I'm going to leave it as another long one and gather that one up there we are so far that's only got two one two layers I'm going to put the third one underneath it but it don't want it to be too puffy I like it already and it's not even stitched up but they, there it is and then it will have the elasticated waistband and a belt. Okay, so I've started. I've decided to um, put only three layers on, and all three are going to be above the, at the top. I was going to put one lower down, but because it's so transparent, it will show the the second layer down below. So I'm not going to go there. So there's a the second layer, the third or fourth layer. So I'm going to put that on. So that will do. It's puffy at the moment, and uh, my daughter-in-law don't want it to be too puffy. So, um, let me see. I'm hoping when I steam it, it'll go down a little bit, but then again, they're meant to be puffy. So I'm gonna now start to sew everything together because it's only pinned up, just to see what it's gonna look like. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, so I've now got three. One, two, three. So I'm going to put all three together and stitch them on top of each other. And then gather them in a bit more to her size. So I don't have to worry about that at the moment. So there's the front. Here's another one. Don't forget. They're all being cut to the same size. So I'll put them all on top of each other. And bear in mind, I will still try and make sure that the gather are equal all the way around. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's that one on top. But when it comes to the edge, when it comes to the edge, I'm not going to sew the edge because I'm going to close them up on themselves. Either I'm going to close them up or I'm going to leave them not stitch. Because the one that I've stitched, I don't really like it. So, this one's got far too much cotton hanging around. But I'll type that later. So there we go. There's all three of them on top of each other. You can you can do them one at a time at stages, but I'll put them all together and stitch them down. It's going to be a bit of a toss, but we'll do it. What I'm doing here as well is that I'm making sure that all the frills are standing up so nothing can get left behind so that when I sew the waistband onto it everything goes in and under. <laughs> So that's all, that's all, um, all right. pinned together, sorry. sorry. So that's all pinned together, and it's looking good. Hello. So we've got it all together. There, we, There's where my seam is. So these 
are going to be the side. And then afterward, I'm going to gather it up even more to fit on her waist line. So that's the start, and everything's looking good so far. I love it. Now I'm going to stitch this together. I'm going to stitch it from the... Which side should I do it from? Let's do it from the top side, this side. So I can keep a check on the pleats here. Actually, now that I'm not actually putting uh, two tiers on or three tiers, I can actually close this, this up. But I'll do that in a second, so I'll do this and I'll close it up. Every time the machine hits one of these sequins, it gives a bit of a problem. Alright, so I've done that now. So what I'm going to do now is because I'm I'm going to close the side up. I didn't stitch right to the edge, so these are opened up. So I'm going to now close each one of them up um, to their own fabric. Here it is. Because I changed my tactic change what I was going to do. So let's stitch this up. You can either stitch it or overlock it. If you overlock it, it will show too much details. not to go on any of the sequins that go around it. That's giving the machine a bit of a problem. Right, so there's the tutu skirt all done. So there's this bit that's still open together so I'm going to pin those together and then we've got a complete circle here and now I'm going to attach the lining onto it as well now but before I attach the lining on I'm going to overlock the hem of the lining instead of doing it while it's on here <laughs> Now what I've got to do now is to take a good look at this and check that all the gatherings that's around it is kind of even. Now I've got a seam there and I've got a seam at the opposite side. So when you measure it, they're not far off so it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to quarter this down again. So put a, take all the pins out, put pin in top and make sure that it's evenly all the way around so that the, the seams don't go out of line so it looks equal so can you imagine now if you bring that in a bit more there it is fairy tale Have you noticed the edges? I'm not doing anything to the edges. The edges are going to stay just like it is. The only thing I'm going to do to the edges is the um, the lining. I'm pleased with this so far. The lining is more or less the same size as the dress itself um, because I wanted her to be able to walk in it. So I'm going to stitch the side up, overlock it, 
get rid of this untidiness here and then I'm going to stitch this onto the dress. This overlocker does a rolling hem, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. It rolls the hem back on itself, and you can do this stitch as small as you can, close up, or so it's not cutting the fabric, it's just rolling it as a finisher. So what I do is, the blade is moved out of the way and it's on half a roll, so I put that back and then put that back and then put the blade back, which is down here, push it in and lift the blade back up. rolling hem. This overlocker does quite a lot of stuff as you've seen me do over the years. So if you wanted to you could do uh, on the bottom of this the dress a rolling hem very small in a different colour and that one looks nice. So anyway the skirt is done and we're going to pin the skirt onto the rest of the fabric. So I'm put seam to seam here and then I'm going to find the same the, the other side of the skirt and I'm going to nip it. Once again I'm going to find the quarter which is, so I'm going to fold it again and find my centre point again and knit both of the fabric. So this is the side, so I'm going to find the other seam and I'm going to put that on it. There it is. And there's a lot of pins all the way around, so I think I better take all these pins out now. one there. There's that one there. I'll put that one 
Where? Now I'm going to equally space this round and you can see the skirt inside. You can see the skirt inside. Once again, I'm going to whip this round, sew it, and attach the lining to the rest of the see as well is they're more or less still the right length the, this is a little bit shorter than everything else now you can cut some of this fabric off if you wish at the top to tidy it up which I will do as well but that's it so that is ready now to put the waistband on with the elastic and when I do that the elastic will bring it in a lot or we can even gather it in a bit more the elastic, the belt, there it is, it's the same size as that and all that's going to be gathered up. So here is the belt, the elastic, but it's the white one feels as though it will stretch out over a period of time. This one definitely feels stronger. Right, so let's put this one in. Now her waist, her waist is 56 centimetres, 56 centimetres is 22 inches, so that's 22 inches and then I'm going to cut it, I thought I was going to cut it 2 inches shorter but I think I should cut it even smaller than that. Nah, better not. Cut it at 22. So she, her waist is 22. 56 inches is her waist, which is 22 inches. I'm going to cut it at 21 inches and I'm going to overlap it by one inch, which I will lose another, another inch. So I'll cut it there. And as I said before, when I stitch it, I stitch it like that into a box. So that's her waist. And by the time I've done that, that's it, let's see now. That's 10 inches. 10 and 10 is 20. So I've lost the two inches, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's her waist. 